A VAMAS file contains a set of VAMAS blocks which contain either spectra or images. And the order that these VAMAS blocks appear in the right hand pane of CASA XPS is determined by the element transition field, the experimental variable, and the order for the VAMAS blocks within the data file. One way to reorder the appearance of the right hand side is to reorder the VAMAS file by copying VAMAS blocks from one file to a new experiment frame. So the order of selection and the order of copy will allow you to reorder the VAMAS blocks themselves. And you can also use the same mechanism to copy a set of data from one VAMAS file to another. That's to say that you make a selection, you then give focus to another window where you would like the data to be copied and you use the copy toolbar button. Now you can see the importance of the element transition field because the order with which you copy these, so if I've copied from one file to another where the wide spectrum appeared first, then it will appear in the first column. If I do the same operation in reverse where I've got the oxygen 1s as the first VAMAS block, then the file will appear with the oxygen 1s as the first column. Now the second method for reordering files is using the toolbar button which is the experimental variable and that lets you assign a new experimental variable and not only does it let you assign an experimental variable when you apply this toolbar button dialog window the VAMAS blocks are reordered so by selecting the nitrogen 1s we can move that to the end of the file by giving it a larger experimental variable than any other VAMAS block within the file. So I've done that for the nitrogen, I've just done it for the oxygen, and now I'm going to apply the same action to three all in one go, so I've now reordered the file, and you can now see by changing the element transition the display itself is altered.